Ah, there you are. Oh, who's this? Is that Olivier? That's not Olivier, is it? Ooh, such beautiful hair. It's good to see you. Uh, it's good to see you again, Archbishop. You look very well. Huh? And you must be... Oh, you're a girl. Rip. <laughs> Rip. I thought it was a guy. Hmm. I wasn't expecting you to be quite this young. How old are you? No. T 22. But... It's a lot younger than I expected. Are the Graz are really so short staffed that they're having that they're handing out their most important post to kids? He's twenty two? Hmm. I thought he was older than that actually. You can't blame me for assuming the fifth dominion would look like more of a veteran, can you? Heh, <laughs> your surprise is written all over your face. Someone in your position should have a much better poker face than that. Maybe you need to redo your training from scratch. Or are you just acting, I wonder? How do you... <sighs> Professor Russell, please. He isn't here for you to try it. Professor Russell? Wait, what? That's not Professor Russell! What's happening? I'm ca oh, wait! Is her last name Russell? I'm confused. Because Professor Russell is an old guy. Wait, is this Tita? Wait, is this- wait. It hasn't been that long. <laughs> this girl being Tita, what's happening? Okay, sorry. <clears throat> he isn't here for you to try and pick a fight with him. Please try and be a little less deliberately provocative. Wait, is this her mom? Because, like, didn't Tita's parents do a thing? Or did they die? Oh God, I don't remember. What? Hell no. I'm confused. He's here to steal the thing we went through so much effort to bring up. And you want me to play nice? And kindly don't call me that ever again. I don't want to be addressed in the same way as that old coot. Uh, okay. Of course, ma'am. Wait, Russell? Then are you... <laughs> I suppose I should introduce myself. There's no way she's Tita. She looks too different to be Tita. I'm Erica Russell. Okay. I'm sure it's not a name you're going to be forgetting anytime soon. I'm very confused right now. Who is this person? Uh oh. Maybe we'll find out. Okay. Uh. Still, sure I didn't expect to run into Tita's mother here. It is her, her mom. I thought they, I thought her parents died. This music, though. I'd heard you and your husband were both living abroad. What brought you back? Oh, is that what what what, what happened? Oh. Okay. She's so young, though. Look at her. What do you think? After all that went down here, there was no way I was staying out of the country any longer than I had to. Though with how remote the region we were in is, it was all over by the time word reached us. Had we found out sooner, I sure wouldn't have let that maniac pull half the crap he did. Doesn't sound like you're too happy with the professor nowadays, huh? Talk about an understatement. That whack job actually took my little girl to that floating city with him. I get that he's soft towards her, but there's no excuse for expo exposing her to danger. Th that's fair. And as if that isn't bad enough, he let that red-headed scumbag get near her too. That other cretin isn't fit to be within 50 Argo of my darling Tita, never mind actually getting friendly with her. Are you talking about, um, a gate? So, uh, you don't like a gate, huh? <laughs> Is this me? <laughs> don't you speak that filthy name in front of me ever again! Oh, when I'm finished with him, he'll wish he'd never been born! He might have survived that last time, so well, but we'll see how he fares against an even more powerful name, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that happening? I get the feeling this is a matter we're better off not prying into. I thought the same, so I don't know any more about it than you do. Incidentally, the Professor Russell you're more familiar with is currently vacationing abroad. Okay. As such, he's been assisting us with, with this case in his place. Oh, I see. Are you two listening to me? Uh, of course. S sorry. S sorry. Hmm. Well, whatever. 
This staircase sure is long, though. How much farther do we have to go? Not much, as far as I know. Yep, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm okay. A dead end? I uh, hope you've got a good explanation for this. I do. This isn't a dead end, but to go any far farther, I'm gonna need you to, to undertake a ritual a ritual of sorts for me. Hmm. Oh, this certainly took a turn for the strange. Is this an example of the church's famous thaumaturgy? Something like that, yes. Specifically, I'd like you to undertake a form of suggestion. I'm not sure I follow. You want us to promise not to tell anyone what we see here, right? That's a little ex uh, that's a little extreme, so no. The colonel is obviously going to need to report what happened here to his superiors, for one thing. All I want is to promise... It, what? Uh, oh my god. <clears throat> All I want you to promise is that you won't tell anyone who you are and certain... certain you, you can trust. <laughs> I, I can't do his... I, I don't know what his voice should be anymore. I like, didn't play him enough in the first chapter. I don't need you to say it, I just need you to think and believe it. Weird, but alright. If that's all you want us to do, so be it. I feel the same way. Should we deliberately repeat it in our minds, then? You don't even need to do that, it should just come completely naturally to you. Alright, here it goes. In the name of she who dwells above, do I hold this consecrated septium. Space is golden glow, consciousness is silver glow. By your opposing natures, reveal to them the path that leads to your sacrament. <laughs> mm -hmm. What? How did that door appear? Thank you both for your assistance. I can see that you are true to your word. Uh, I see. So if we just said it but didn't really mean it, we wouldn't be able to see, see anything, right? And yet I can hardly believe what happened. I imagine it would be uncouth of me to ask how all of this works. Yeah, I'd really rather you didn't. Really rather you didn't. <laughs> <coughs> Trying really hard to get them an American accent. <clears throat> I apologize, but not really. <clears throat> anyway, come on in. Wow. Unbelievable. All these years I had no idea that such a place lay hidden beneath Granso Castle. A uh, cathedral, I mean. Well, it's not exactly something we publicize. It was built in accordance with the agreements between the church and royal family. There's yes, but one purpose. There's no way I can keep this up. <coughs> <I'm> so... <laughs> <Whew. clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> to suppress the power of ancient artifacts and keep their influence in check. Right, that makes sense. I see. And it's important to you, Grawl's Ritter. Uh, th it's importance to you, Grawl's Ritter, is quite clear then. I'd assume there are similar ones in places other than Lubble, too. Well, I won't deny it. Anyway, we call this place a Primal Ground. Now, there's a deep name, if I ever heard one. Is the original ground the others are based on an Arteria? I'll take that as a yes. Oh, I'm not confirming anything. I was just thinking about how much you take after the other Professor Russell's all. Is all. Ugh, I'll thank you not to associate me with him. He might trump me a little in the theoretical side of things, but when it comes to the practical side of all science, I could beat him in my sleep. And I was the one who designed the fundamental systems of the Capel and the Arsail, you know? Really? Nice. But I think we're getting off topic here. This is the object in question, right? That's correct. It was pulled up three days ago from the area where the Liberac sank, and we believe it to be an artifact. Hmm. Okay. 
three days prior, roughly at the center of the barrier lake. Where the Liberac sank. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like how those birds flew in a circle. Hey, it's a kitter. Damn, sun going down already, huh? If this spot turns out to be a bus, we're probably going to have to call it quits for today. We can only hope. Professor Russell is certain that this is the area where we should be look uh, looking. Yep, and, it's, uh, and if she says it's here, it's here. And unfortunately, as you know, Valeria Lake's about as deep as a lake can get. Depending on how small the thing we're looking for is, actually finding it could still be a real task and a half. Hmm. Is it likely to be small though? The orbo reading suggested we're dealing with quite a large object, I believe. Oh, uh, I wouldn't judge its size based off of those. Ah, Professor. Hey there, kiddo. Finished getting us a new estimated location? Just about. It'd be real swell if you knocked it off with the kiddo though. I'm not sure it's the most appropriate way to address a married woman, much less one who's already popped out a child. <laughs> Rip. Uh, sorry, but old habits die hard, you know? Not to make the switch when I've been calling you that since you're about knee high. <sighs> well, I'll let you off this time. Back to work. Can you ask your subordinates to stand down for the time being, Colonel? Is this the spot then? Were you able to calculate exactly where the object is? Give or take an hour, yes. Judging by the readings, what we're trying to pull up isn't all that big either. Probably about 50. Rig, rig, rig. No, no. Maybe even less. You serious? That would be dealing with a real monster, not something the size of Antoine. Yeah. Hmm. Still, if it does turn out to be an artifact, this could get problematic. Um. Unfortunately, oh, unfortunately, the church isn't going to want to let us keep it. That's for sure. Ugh, I really cannot stand them. No matter how hard you work to get your hands on something, the second it turns out to be an artifact. They swoop in like it's their goddess-given right to have it. Ticks me off. Easy there. We don't know for sure that it that this is even not an artifact yet. Regardless, I'll pass on the message to my subordinates right away. I'll leave the rest here to you, Gustav. You got it. Let's see what we're dealing with, yeah? So many new voices. I can't. Don't. I don't. Huh. 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 Bam, 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 bam. Okay, that's the spot. Go on ahead. Yes, ma'am. Beginning the salvage operation. Gah, my sound just fills me with dread. Does the salvage crane sound like it's in poor condition to you? Oh, that's not really what I meant. I just can't bring myself to like artifacts, you see. We can't explain how they have the power they do, but they have it, and it's not something we can ignore, either. As a researcher, I can barely imagine anything more frustrating. Even when we can't help but be captivated by them, we're well aware that any attempt to solve their mysteries is pointless. I see. When you put it that way, I can understand to a degree how you must feel. Half a year has passed since all the chaos came to an end, and on the surface, we're back to normal. But even now, we still don't know what truly happened here, or what it signified. Yeah. Not that I was here to see it all happen, of course. The crane arms reach the bottom of the lake. I'm gonna attempt to grip the object. Swing and a miss. Moving 30 rig to the right. There we go. Yep, we got it. Want me to pull it up? Please do. The moment of truth, huh? Here we go. What? Uh, oh my. It's glowing. So it's not a fact, I guess. I see. Still looking at it. Correct. 
There were orbital readings coming from the artifact where we found it, but not anymore. And I'm sure I don't need to spell out the, the significance of that, do I? No, it's plain as day when you decided to stay and wait for me now. What? No, it's plain as day why you decided to wait to stay and wait for me now. It's plain as day why you decided to stay and wait for me. Okay. If an artifact has lost its power, it's exempt from the traditional agreements governing them and doesn't need to be given to the church. That it? <laughs> you already understand me so well. We can cut right to the chase then. The obo readings disappeared just before we handed the artifact over to the cathedral, as it so happened. It's currently being, looking, being looked after here, but the formal procedures to transfer ownership have yet to be completed, making its legal owner unclear. So in your expert opinion, what should be done here? Hmm, this is a tricky one. I'm assuming Lobel wants to assert ownership of it. Uh, uh, oh my fucking god. <clears throat> Why can't I read? Oh, I'm out of practice. I'm assuming Lobel Lube wants to assert ownership of it in this scenario, right? If anything, it's the professor here who wants to do that. I'm merely here accompanying her as a representative of the Royal Army. The only reason it's not lying at the bottom of, of Valeria Lake right now is because of ZCF salvage efforts. I'd say we have every right to keep it, personally. From what I've heard, it's completely impossible to analyze an artifact that's no longer active. I don't see how it would be of uh, any use to your research as things stand out. Why? This dialogue is so hard to read for some reason. But you're sure you wanted that badly? Oh, absolutely. We're talking about an object found at the site of where a massive flying city used to be. I might not have seen it happen, but it sounds like everything we thought we knew about the world was more or less proven wrong. <laughs> you know, by the truth that you people in the church have kept hidden for- th oh. You know, by the truth that you people in the church have kept hidden for the past- oh, I don't know, thousand years. As for their Autobotus group, they don't make much more sense than you guys. The more I hear about their advances in technology, the less I can work out how it's even possible. I don't know what the truth is or what's really happening here in this land, but I can't stand by and feign disinterest in knowing the answers anymore, and I'm far from alone. So long as there's the slightest chance that Artifact could shed light on all of what I want to know, I want it. I think you've made your point, Professor. It's not as though interrogating him will achieve anything. <sighs> True enough. Well, you've heard what I've got to say. It's now up to you to tell us what you're going to do. Will you hand over that lump of metal? Or won't you? Well... That brief hesitation was all it took to spawn a great evil. Who's this? To spawn a great evil? Oh, a new person. Who is she? No way. It crawled through the fields, ran through the hills, and spread disaster in the skies above. An excerpt from the Book of Ease of Verse 2, Disaster Unleashed. That was a thing at the beginning, right? Like in the opening thing. I apologize for the delay in coming, Father Graham. My name is... Uh... <laughs> Rhys? 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 Rhys. Hmm. Rhys. Rhys. Rhys? Oh, what should I call her? Rhys? 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 Can I call her Rhys? Because it's kind of like Sheil. Rhys? My name is Rhys Argens. Argen. <clears throat> and I am a squire of the Grolsrutte. I look forward to working under you. I didn't think we'd end up having some com uh, having more company. Wait a second. Is something the matter? Is something the matter? So that's how they think they can get me, isn't it? But they can't just bribe me so easily. I'm better than that. M maybe I underestimated the crowds or so. They think they can break my will to fight by sending a girl like you my sending a girl like you my way, do they? But I'm not going to go down so easily, because I got a secret weapon of my own. Behold, the most powerful force in the universe. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's that's funny. <clears throat> that's, I was expecting it to be gravity or something. That's funny. Oh, 
That's not, okay. <clears throat> isn't that... That's Tita, isn't it? How cute. Isn't she? Isn't she? I bet you just want to jump into this photo and squeeze her like a stuffed toy right now, don't you? I should have known a cutie patootie like you would be would be able to appreciate the same qualities in others. <clears throat> uh, anyway, that's why no matter how frickin' adorable you may happen to be, you can't take me down because I've got a natural immunity. Uh, I beg your pardon, but I'm afraid I'm not really following. You keep saying that someone is cute, but... Are you referring to me? Who else would I be talking about? you got such an aura of maturity about you, and yet your features still have that irresistible trace of innocence to them. And then they throw you into a sister's habit to compliment it all like a little cherry on top. That's the most flattering habit I've ever seen. Uh, if I didn't have my protective field, I'd be in real danger here. I... 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 Uh... I... Uh... Um... Tita, is your mum gay? <laughs> or bisexual or something? What's happening? Oh, is this a guy? Is this actually a guy dressed as a girl? Or is, is that what she's thinking? I'm really confused. <clears throat> Why are you looking at me like that? I, I'm just saying. Might I inquire as to the identities of the people with you, Father Graham? Sh sure. I mean, sure, sure. The lady is Professor Erica Russell of ZCF, while the gentleman is Lieutenant Colonel Sid of the Royal Army. Army. R Royal Army. <laughs> so, how are you Americans? <clears throat> Seriously though, Father Graham, really? Uh, so you're the people who initially discovered the artifact then? Thank you for your cooperation in our work. We will take over looking after it from here on out. That will be all. Wait a... what? What the fuck is happening right now? H hold on a minute, we hadn't finished deciding what to do with it yet. Perhaps not, but my intention was to save you the time and effort required to do so by making the correct judgement myself. Whether it has lost its power or not, that is no ordinary artifact. It is potentially related to one of the Septarians. I'm surprised that you even humoured the option of letting an outsider take custody of it. Uh, I mean... Well, well, you sure know how to pick a fight. Go on then, what legal basis do you have for taking it from us? The agreements with the church quite clearly say that artifacts that have lost their power are exempt from the usual rules. I have no legal basis, but you have no more of one for keeping it. And if we are following the agreements to the letter, no one is allowed to assert ownership of inactive artifacts. It belongs to neither you nor me. It is simply an abandoned object with no owner whatsoever. What? So all you got is I don't need a reason, it's mine and that's final? To put it bluntly, yes. Hmm. Well, that's how you want to play it. What's your take on this, Kevin Graham? Well, by all means. M me? I, I thought I'd been kicked out of this conversation. But, well, I can't say I don't want to take it back to Arteria with us. But after all the help LeBeau's given us, I'd feel kind of bad just snatching it from them without even giving them a valid reason. Hmm. Both arguments have a degree of merit but neither is clearly more correct. I'm not quite sure how you'll solve this one. You, uh, do know that you're a smack dab in the middle of this too, right? What? Oh, Jesus Christ, what's happening? Whoa. My... What the fuck was that? That was scary. What is it? Why do you both look so surprised? What do you mean, why? Did the two of you not hear that? Hear what? Wait a... Oh. Uh, okay. What's happening? This music though, it's so good. <laughs> wow. Oh, no way! That thing wasn't giving off any orbital readings at all anymore. Zero zip! Why is it suddenly active again? I believe that settles our dispute. It sure does. So the real artifact was inside, huh? I have never seen one quite like it. Looks like a box of some kind. Or a cube, maybe. Oh, 
this music. Oh. I'd like to thank you two for your cooperation in the recovery of this artifact. In accordance with the Pacts of the Church, I, Kevin Graham, will be assuming custody of it from here on out. You and all who aided you have the Septarian Church's deepest appreciation. Uh, right. Rip. Rip. 